Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this limit right here, the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of a negative 4x over x minus 3, and again we're evaluating this limit. I like to first use a table here to get some basic points, and then we'll understand how to do it more conceptually. If I approach 3 from the left, I like to plug in values to see where this table's approaching. If I put a 2 in for x, my output is an 8. If I put a 2.5 in for x, my output becomes a 20, and for that equation here, and a 2.9 goes in and it's a 116. So from the table's point of view, we're approaching a positive infinity. But how can we understand this conceptually? Well, we know if we put in 3 directly, we're dividing by 0. Okay, and we're dividing by 0, that's generally a clue that it's approaching some infinity here. So if we're approaching from the left, I like to pick a value here that's just to the left of 3 and see what happens with if this is positive or negative overall result. So we have a negative and we have 4. I'm going to pick a value just to the left of 3 and say it's 2.9 over a 2.9 minus 3, like so. Now, I don't actually care what the value is. We found it here. It's 116. But really, I'm looking for is it positive or negative. The numerator, positive times a positive, is a positive, And we have the negative up there. So the numerator is a negative here. The denominator, 2.9 minus 3, is a negative number. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. And so this limit approaches, right, as we approach 3 from the left, it goes to a, po a positive infinity, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.